Okay, next up we have the recurring screen. This screen gives us the ability to add multiple appointments uh, all at uh, specific intervals at the same time. So if you have a patient or a contact that's going to schedule perhaps twice a week for two months, we can do that here quickly and easily. Uh, why don't we go ahead and go through it. Uh, basically, we would select uh, any specific uh, recurring appointment below. Uh, and we have a new one. If we want to enter a new one, we just enter it here. And then we go ahead and put in the starting date. And then uh, we put in, uh, let's go ahead and schedule a time for that. And then we'll uh, select us assign staff for that day. As well as an appointment type, we have just one so far, but we'll be creating more. And number of appointments, we'll go ahead and put 10. And let's say we want to every week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We can also do every uh, two, four, five, or six, up to 10 weeks. Or monthly, we can also do monthly on the uh, first, last, third, fourth, or last, uh, and then a day of the month. We do use uh, specific weekdays because it's possible if we were to do the last or first day of the month, it could wind up on a non-work day. So we want to make sure that uh, all of your scheduled appointments wind up on actual company work days. So that's why we've stuck to specific days. So once we uh, have it set up, we'll just go ahead and click Add to Schedule, and then it says 10 appointments have been added to the schedule. And so here we have uh, the details of that appointment. We can also edit it once we create it. Just click on the uh, edit ISO and we'll go ahead and edit it. And maybe we want to change the type or change the quantity or change the staff or perhaps change the time. We can go ahead and then just change it uh, if they want to reschedule. And what that's going to do is it's going to change all of the appointments after the current date, but not in the past. We don't want to change any appointments in the past because we assume that they've already taken place. So it'll, it'll make changes to any future appointments. And then we'll just click update and then that'll update the appointment. And that's pretty much it. We can also delete an appointment. Simply click delete, and then it'll delete uh, those appointments accordingly. And uh, that's pretty much it. So that's it for the reoccurring. It's a great way to schedule a lot of appointments. We can do up to 365 appointments uh, all at the same time with this screen. So thank you.